What's up people, TB Wolf here. Today we're going to be talking about starting items. Now there are a lot of different things people go when they choose starting items. And today we're going to talk about the most efficient way to build. Now let's start with support bottom lane. A lot of people choose the right path of going fairy charm, which is under magic, mana regen, fairy charm. And they buy, in addition to that, they buy four wards, four sight wards, and one potion. Now, this is more efficient to say something like a Dorn's Ring, which is a choice that doesn't let you get wards, or Boots 2 wards, which doesn't let you get a potion, which is less important part, but uh, it also lets you get less wards. And for not really as important of stats either. But the reason why you want to go Fairy Charm and 4 wards and a potion is because that 3 MP5 from the Fairy Charm it helps you. Like, if you're Soraka, you definitely want to go with it, because it gives you mana for heal. Uh, it gives you the same mana for heal anyway. If you're Sona, you can see it's the same mana for poke and your heal. And really, no matter what support you are, you can always benefit from Fairy Charm, Four Wards, and a Potion. And that really is nailed in by the amount of wards you have. Like, if you you need two wards always up for the Trilane and the Dragon. If you don't, then you're vulnerable. That's just the way it is. And having two extra wards means you can either choose to place one in a lane bush, or you can save it for the rewarding dragon or lane or tri bush. And it just like it really helps to have the extra wards available in case you need them. Starting boots and two wards doesn't allow you to have that. It just allows you to go lane, uh, no self sustain unless you're Soraka, Tarek, someone else, someone something like that. But it's not as good because you don't have the extra wards, and you don't have the mana sustain. Now, if you're Blitzcrank, it's a different story, really. Because Blitzcrank is honestly the only one I would advise being able to go boots to wards. And that's because if you have boots on Blitzcrank, you can catch up to their enemy media carry and definitely their enemy support. And if you get a rocket grab on them, and it gets you a kill, or it gets your AD carry a kill more importantly, then that's definitely a good thing, and it's definitely a good reason why you started Boots, th boots 2 wards. It helps you catch up and be able to land those grabs. But other than that, it's almost always going to be want to be a Fairy Charm, 4 wards, and a Potion. Now, also in bottom line is the AD carry roll. I've, there's a lot of different ways, or that's actually not a lot of different ways. There's only two ways that people really build AD carries. Whether it's Doran's Blade or Boots Three, po or Boots Three Pots. Now, Boots Three Pots is the more efficient of these, and there's several reasons why. Let's say you go a Doran's Blade and your enemy goes Boots Three Potions. You have, let's say that you start, both start with a base of 70 80, and you both have 500 health. You, in addition to that, have a bonus 80 health, 10 attack damage, and 3% life steal. So you both trade three attacks. You have a Doran's Blade, the enemy has to boost three pots. You do, if nobody has any armor equated, 240 damage, and you take 210 damage. Um, if you equate the life steal into it, that's more about 200 damage, or 205 damage, something like that. But the difference is, for the rest of that, you can't heal it back like they can. So if they just pop a potion, they're going to be full health in no time, assuming that no extra sustained damage is had. And if the sustained damage is had, it's most likely you'll be trading and you'll be even farther behind. Because once they're full health, you'll still be about two bars lower, and it just keeps going like that until you're too low to even contest with them. Uh, then they can back up the kill with an ignite, a flash, and then you're dead. And it's all because you didn't buy the three potions and boots. Because you can't outrun them, and you're more vulnerable to ganks if you do. But, let's have an, an exception to that. If you have a Soraka in your lane, you might want to go a Doran's Blade. Now, you, you can still go boots three pots, but it's less vital to go boots three pots. Because Soraka has sustain. She has, like, the best sustain in the game right now. And if you go a Doran's Blade with Zoraka, she can just heal up as you poke them. Like, you don't need to worry about potions as much because of her amazing sustain. Now, if they nerf her more, that may change. If they, like, make her less viable, it, it'll j definitely change. But for now, a Doran's Blade with Zoraka Lane, it works. They both really work, but it is an option once you, if you have Zoraka. 
For other supports, I would suggest just going with basic boots three pots though. It's the safest way to assure that you can survive ganks and trades and all the other things that boots three pots provides. And it's a similar case for mid lane. A lot of people start uh, Doran's ring and or boot three pots. That's, those are really the two main starts you see, though you do see some people starting like uh, Amplifying Tomb or something like that. And the reason why mostly you don't want to do that is because let's look at Doran's Ring first, then we can look at Amplifying Tomb. What Doran's Ring gives you is it gives you 80 health like the Doran's Blade, it gives you 15 AP, and it gives you 5 MP5. Now these are good stats to have. But once again, it doesn't really give you any sustain. It gives you damage and health and mana regen, but it doesn't give you any sustain. And as a mid lane, you're gonna need that sustain. Because in mid, you're both casters and you both have good poke spells. Like, say your cannon, you have a shuriken. If you hit them with a shuriken, then they take damage, and if they don't have anything to heal it up, you, they just can take more damage from your next shuriken. It just adds up, but if they have a potion, they can just heal back that damage once it gets too much from the handle. If they had a Doran's Ring, they can't do that. And it's just a, a poke war. And you don't want to be down in your sustainability in a poke war. Now, there's a few exceptions to that, and th the main one is Vladimir. He has the option to go and boost three pots, or an Amplifying Tomb, and one potion. And uh, some people disagree with that, but I think it's a viable start, though I personally always go boost three pots with him. But on Vladimir, you want to rush on a Hexic Revolver as a core item, because you need a spell map for your Q and your E, and it, it makes your spells worth it. Because what a, an Amplifying Tomb gives you is it's one of the variants to a Hexic Revolver. So it can work along with Boots Through Pots working. It just, you don't have the movement speed as fast or the sustain as much. But you do have some sustain more from your Q, and you do have a potion, so it, it works more than others would work. But Devil and everyone else, and even him, go boost three pots for the most part. Because sometimes you see a Doran shield even on people, like Ken's recommended items, there's a Doran shield. I don't know why it's there, it just is. But that doesn't help you if you're mid-champ. It gives you armor, health, and health for 5. That's not what you need as a mid-champ. Like, you, the health is fine, but, and the health for 5 is fine, but it doesn't really give you the needed stats. You need sustainability. That doesn't give you enough sustainability, and you need, like, boots to run from your enemy if you're getting too low, to chase them, and you're just a disadvantage if you don't get boots. And if they do get boots, that is. Now, moving on to jungler roll, that's really where the variation starts. Because as a jungler, you have several different options. Uh, the most prevalent ones are boots 3 pots and cloth armor 5 pots. Now for people with sustain, or like warwick, or with like shields, like heavy shields like nautilus, then boots 3 pots works perfectly in the jungle. Like warwick, nautilus, they, and fiddlesticks, they can go boots 3 pots as long as they ruin up with armor. But someone like a Mumu, for example, or other like jungles that don't have sustain or that don't have a shield, like you're gonna want to go cloth armor and five potions because the cloth armor helps against every single jungle camp there is. Like it, you take less damage from jungle camps because none of them have any magic damage, of course, and it just helps you with your initial clear and your farther clears, and you can build the cloth armor something later that you need. Like, take a Moom, for example. If you got Boots 3 Pots, he would take a ton of damage from Wolves and Blue, and he wouldn't really be fit to clear all the, like, Wraiths, Red, Golems. He wouldn't be able to do that. But with Cloth Armor and 5 Potions, he would take less damage, he would be more sustainable, and he would be able to do all that stuff. Um, the exception to this, really, to both of those, is sometimes Maokai players, or people similar to that, like to go regrowth pendant and one potion. Like, I've seen Maokai players do this a bit, where they go regrowth pendant and potion, and they throw their, uh, the E, the saplings, into wraiths, the clear wraiths, and they rush to blue, and get that pretty easily. Like, they do enough damage to do that, and the health region helps them get back up, they can use a potion, and it works. 
And that's mainly for people who want to rush a Philo Stone. Like, most junglers are going to want a Philo Stone if they don't get Urgles, because it helps them with the sustain in the jungle, and gives them the mana and health they need. But, uh, most people don't want to rush a Regrowth Pendant, because that's just not efficient for, like, ganks and all that stuff. But on Malkite, it works, but you can just twist advance to them, you can sapling, you can... It's just a more viable option. Rather than someone like Nautilus, who wants to go to a zone anyways, but doesn't want to get it first, because he needs the boots for ganking and all that stuff. And that really brings us to the last lane, which is top lane. Now, the same rules really apply for... It's a combination of jungle and a combination of mid. Because there's both AP and AD champs that go here. So, some people start Doran's Blade, some people start Doran's Ring, but a lot of people st either start Boots 3 pots or Cloth Armor 5 pots, like uh, in the jungle. Now, it really depends on who you're against and who you are in these cases. Like, if you're Yorick and you're against Riven, it's really your choice. Like, you have sustain and you're able to keep it up with your E. So you're able to get boots for possible chasing and running, but you're also able to get cloth 5 in case you need that extra bit of protection and that extra bit of sustain. But if you're not someone to sustain, like, if you're, let's say, a Darius against that same ribbon, a cloth armor and 5 potion build might be your best bet, because this run in the lane, if Darius beats ribbon, whatever, it doesn't matter in this case, just look at the base concept of it. You don't have sustain as Darius. You don't have an escape is Darius, so having a damage mitigation really helps you more than uh, having the boots 3 pots, because you have more sustain, and since Riven is all physical damage, it does less against you, but if, or it, her damage does less, she does, she does less, less damage to you, let's just say that, but like, if you're someone like, um, let's say a Yorick versus a Cho'Gath, you're definitely not going to want to get a Cloth Armor and 5 Pots build against someone who has mainly, uh, uh, like, magic damage. Or let's say you're a Riven against Yorick. Though Cho'Gath and Yorick both do magic damage, so you're going to want to get a Boots 3 Pots start on them, rather than Cloth Armor, obviously, because Cloth Armor does not help you much there. Um, I hope you guys benefit from this video. For anyone who was confused as to what to go in terms of starting items and what lane, um, if you want to see more of my videos, go to my channel, subscribe, a lot of good stuff. If you want to like check me out in solo queue, where I play sometimes, at the 1700 ELO rating or so, um, check out twitch.tv slash tbwolf. And that's really it for today. Uh, I wish you guys a good night, and thank you.